Hi guys, it's your girl Hobo Kiki, and today we will be doing a little sneak peek through my stickers. Don't mind that box over there, just a little bit of chocolate. <laughs> you know I need it. And we'll be going through my sticker organization. Look, I know, I know, I know. You might be thinking, oh, that's nice, or whatnot. Well, then I have successfully deceived you. <laughs> but I promise, I promise that it's a mess up in here. And I really do need to get my life together. I really just threw all my stickers in here after going in storage. And I need to organize this. And yesterday's video made me realize that. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing that I thought I'd organize was this little bag right here. If you are wondering what the heck is it, it holds all of my foiled stickers. <laughs> and I know that's crazy, right? Just shoving a bunch of foiled stickers in that small bag. I thought I would go ahead and move them over here to these simply gilded um cases sticker cases i have to i think i have two more but i have to dig do some digging and find them but the idea is to separate all my stickers my foiled stickers into their own pals um and the pals that i'm shuffling them into now would be a gold pal a rose gold pal a silver silver y'all know what time it is don't judge me <laughs> a silver pile and then a holographic pile i even have a random foil color pile you see at the bottom right corner it's like some some kind of like rusty orange foil which is really cute actually but it's just that it's it's special you know <laughs> it's special it needs its own little pile so right now i am shuffling through all these stickers and just trying to uh, organize them by foil color and I thought it would be nice to do this because I actually uh, want to start using foil again and I was wondering like okay other than foil being extremely hard to take pictures of why am I not using my foil and then I realized it's because I have a janky system. Like, of course, I'm not going to reach for a foil when it's all stuffed in one little bag and I can't find anything. So I thought it would be smart to organize. Now, I'm going to let you know right now. I am not going to be organizing that whole uh, sticker storage that you saw in the beginning for Plan Miss. No, absolutely not. Not doing it. <laughs> Like, I, I just, I don't know. I don't feel like doing all of that right now. But there are some things in there that definitely need some help, some some love, right? <laughs> and this was one of them because I actually do plan on using more foil for next year. So I thought, let me go ahead and tackle this now for Plan Miss. But trust me, you're not going to see too many more organization videos because I just can't. It, it just gives me anxiety opening that thing. I don't know why I just threw all my stickers in bins and like thought that that was a good idea. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It gives me some heavy anxiety. But, you know, I do think slowly but surely I will tackle it. So, Every so often when I feel like battling it, I will go ahead and do that. But am I going to get it all done in December? No, not happening. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This one, this one had to be done though, because this one was ridiculous as you saw. So yeah, we are still just organizing them by color here. Is anyone else like me, like you have a bunch of foiled stickers and the most color that you have is gold. Like, I have so many foiled gold stickers. Like, at least three times as many as compared to silver, holographic, and rose gold. I think it's because 
uh, like gold is like the standard foil, I guess we'll say. And then there's variations of gold. Like in my gold stickers, I do have like a light gold and then the true yellow gold. So it's just so much gold going on, but I'm not mad at it. It just lets me know that it's something I do need to tackle eventually. And uh, yeah, I think I am just going to shove all the gold together. But now that I do have all my stickers foiled, all my stickers foiled, all my stickers uh, sorted by foil color, now I'm going to go through each of those and sort them by like what kind of stickers they are. So as you can see, I have like a script stickers, uh, number stickers, deco stickers, uh, icon stickers, and then like miscellaneous, and then also like a pal of like, I don't know. <laughs> but they are getting sorted into a pile that like, my brain can comprehend, okay? And I am going to do this for each foil color. So I will sort through the gold, I will sort through the silver, I will sort through the rose gold, and I will so sort, oh, that's, man, I'm tired. <laughs> and I will sort through the holographic. So I plan on doing that. I am just going to show you the gold, though, because, like I said, it is my biggest pile, so I believe you get the idea. And after I sort through each pile, I am going to go ahead and place them in those mini sticker books from Simply Gilded that you saw in the beginning. And since I can only find two right now, I am going to do gold and rose gold in one book and then silver and holographic in the other book. Oh, I don't know why, but I just lost my voice there for a second. <laughs> and if you're wondering, like, how did I fit in the bigger sticker sheets that you see here? I really just cut them in half. So I cut them in half where there were, like, stickers missing or maybe just the names of the person who made them uh, because I can tell who made them just by looking at them. So I would still be able to reference that for you. And I just was able to squeeze them all in the sticker books like that. And I really need to find the other two Simply Gilded books because the gold definitely needs its own sticker book. Because like I said, I have way too many gold foil stickers. So it needs like its own book. And you're going to see in a second that uh, yeah, it's basically taking up all the space from the rose gold, but it's still a better system um, that I have made for myself here as compared to just shoving everything in a little pocket. So here are the sticker books all filled out. Can you tell which one is housing the gold stickers? <laughs> Okay, I think we can all tell. Let me go ahead and show you the silver slash holographic foil uh, sticker book. As you can see, I did put every or both of those sticker foils in here. And I did add this special random foil that I had lying around just because I had some space in here. Because I don't use silver and holographic foil as much as I would like. And this chunk chunk here... This is housing my gold and rose gold stickers. And I know you're probably saying, Kira, this thing is not organized. <laughs> Look, it's organized for me, okay? My chaotic brain can understand it. I do see the organization. I see, okay, if I want icons, here they are. If I want bowstrung boxes, here they are. If I want numbers, here they are. Like, I can decipher what's going on through the chaos, okay? <laughs> like, I get it. And that's most important, is that I get it. And I think we can all agree here that this system is a lot better than what I had in the beginning with just one 
little pocket that was housing everything. Once I find my other sticker books, I will organize it even further than this. But that's it for today. If you liked the video, please leave a like and I'll see you in the next Planmas video. Bye!